Adventuristi ben Adventurists, welcome back on the roads of Italy for another trip. A little different from the usual because this time we have no plans. But this doesn't mean we will travel randomly. Instead, we will improvise the trip. It's winter, it's cold, not the best time to travel, Covid restrictions, I know, but also a huge wanderlust. So, the plan is to follow the roads of southern Piedmont, discover the villages, the best views, and then go to Liguria, to the sea. The way, improvisation. And what a better way to improvise a trip like this, since I want to do things in a huge style? Indeed, big style. So, what's the best way to improvise a trip like this? So let's set off along the foggy roads of Piedmont, discovering beautiful hills, sleeping vineyards, giant swings, ghostly castles and colorful little chapels scattered among the clouds. And then, driving our camper, we go to sunny Liguria, to enjoy beautiful sunrises by the sea, and explore panoramic hikes, breathtaking caves and villages lost in time, in this beautiful land between the sea and the mountains. Let's start from Moncalvo, one of the smallest towns in Italy, clung around the remains of an ancient medieval castle. Moncalvo is the ancient capital of the historical region of Monferrato, a land of beautiful hills, to be honest, today a bit hidden by the fog, since 2014 a UNESCO heritage site. Among the narrow streets of Moncalvo, made up of ancient crafts and traditions, excellent products are produced. Every year, in October, for instance, there is the National Truffle Fair, but of course also wine, which has made Monferrato and the Close Lange popular worldwide. So here we are in Neve. No, this time I'm not alone. On this trip with me is my girlfriend, who had a crazy desire to travel by camper van and a crazy desire of not be filmed, so you'll never see her face. But back to Neve a beautiful handful of curvy streets that climb up to the top of the hill where the clock tower stands, the icon of the ancient town, that has always been disputed between Asti and Alba, and unfortunately almost entirely destroyed during one of the many wars between the two cities. But the beautiful atmosphere has remained untouched, as can be seen from the beautiful views all around Neve, that we can enjoy thanks to a temporary rest of the fog. We've just got to a city called Dawn, after the sunset. This is not a joke, it's just a way to say days are short. Uh, anyway, she is staring at the window of this bakery, it seems super good, but first I want to take a tour of the city. Of the 100 medieval towers that made the city popular, today only a few remain. Alba is a very lively city, and also very elegant in its 19th century style which suits it well after the damages Alba suffered during the French Revolution. The buildings in Risorgimento Square dance in the Christmas lights, and we surround the rhythm and let ourselves go in this colorful atmosphere. The streets are living with people gathering in the bars and the restaurants of the old town, or on the ice rink, and, for the record, we got back to the bakery to get some biscuits. The next morning we wake up in the thickest fog, but soon we are back on the road. Next stop, Barolo. The town is even more picturesque in this fog. That doesn't outshine the soul of Barolo, firmly linked to wine and especially the well-known Barolo wine.
In this fog that wraps everything, the castle of Barolo is the perfect temple to get some wine culture. The Barolo Wine Museum is the most innovative in Italy and one of the most important in the world. In this thousand years old castle, we begin a journey into the world of wine as product of the human culture, which has also influenced human evolution. In the rooms of the castle, you can explore the relationship between man and wine over the centuries, and how it still has an impact on many aspects of our lives, from food to traditions to movies. It's also possible to discover how the territory of Barolo changes while the seasons change, as long as you feel like pedaling a bit. Sun is shining again on the roads of Piedmont, and so we get filled of beautiful landscapes. Then we decide to reach a special place, with a great view on the hills of the Lange. But immediately the fog is back to spite us. Well, never mind. Let's enjoy this giant stationary shop, I don't know how to call it, with this huge ruler swing that gives us a wonderful view over nothing. We can't see anything. Bah, doesn't matter. How do you say American friends? If life gives you lemons, well, then you make lemonade. So let's go back on the road. Few miles away, a small colorful chapel comes out of the clouds and brings us optimism. And while I annoy my girlfriend who keeps on turning her back to the camera, we decide that, actually, this weather is perfect to go to the hot springs. Nice choice. Of course, nice choice, it's just us at the hot springs, no one here. And so we can enjoy the pools, the whirlpool, a little relax in the hot water, the Turkish bath, followed, of course, by the frozen Scottish shower. Of course, I have to be cool with my girlfriend. The grandpa moment with a cup of tea, less cool, I know. And then, uh, enough with the relax. It's fun near the pool where underwater you can listen to Rolling Stones. And we got back in the camper van. And like any other trendy video vlog, we do a tour of the camper van. I'm trying to cook spaghetti. Uh, one moment, I take the camera and show you the van. So, uh, well, of course, uh, here in the front, the two seats you can turn to have lunch uh, here, where there is this table with the two other seats behind. Uh, our box full of food and other stuff. Uh, it's already a mess, of course. Here the spaghetti are cooking, more or less, uh, the water is boiling. This is the kitchen with the two burners, uh, the sink. Uh, here on the right the bathroom where she's taking a shower so I leave her alone. And right there a big bed. 20 feet long camper van, 9 feet high, a lot of space. Here is the fridge and here a lot of space where to store food, uh, blankets, uh, towels and so on. Whoa, I'm stuffed. After 50 pounds of spaghetti, we go to bed. Tomorrow we go to Aquiterme or maybe the sea, I don't know. We'll improvise tomorrow. Meanwhile, good night. <laughs> the following morning, we wake up in Bra with a great view of Mount Monviso. I love the way you kiss me every night. Bra is a very nice town, a bit sleepy in the early morning, especially on a cold January day. Time to walk around the old town, find a bar for a sweet roll and a cappuccino and a supermarket. I need to hold you, need to touch you right. 
So, water tank filled, fridge full, we go to the sea. And everybody knows you too. On the road again, we say goodbye to the snowy Alps and we go south, towards the sea and towards other adventures that I will tell you in the second part of the video. Stay there. Me.